this morning. The confusion over the verified blue check marks on Twitter is continuing on the platform. Yeah, not long after CEO Elon Musk rolled out a new paid subscription that allows users to buy a blue check, some users began to abuse the service and impersonate athletes, brands, celebrities, even Musk himself. Days before the rollout, Twitter's new owner said he would suspend users who impersonate others if the account was not clearly marked as parody. Yeah, so for more, we're joined by NBC News youth and internet culture reporter Callan Rosenblatt. Callan, great to have you with us on this. It's an interesting one for sure. I mean, it took less than 24 hours for users actually to start abusing this new Twitter subscription plan for that blue check. Tell us what kind of impersonations we're seeing, what type of content they're putting out. Good morning, Joe and Savannah. The first kinds of impersonations we saw started with athletes. We saw Connor McDavid, who is an NHL player. LeBron James, uh, obviously a very famous NBA player on the Lakers, announcing that they were, uh, you know, requesting trades or had been traded, which would be obviously enormous news. But of course, it was fake. It was from these very realistic looking fake accounts that had purchased verified badges. Later, we saw companies like Nintendo of America, who appeared to be, um, you know, posting vulgar images, uh, again, a fake account. Later, we even saw people like Rudy Giuliani making, uh, you know, very inflammatory statements. Again, that was a fake account. So we're continuing to see these accounts pop up. All the accounts I've mentioned have been banned and suspended. But it's a game of whack-a-mole that Twitter is now playing with these verified accounts that are, uh, you know, purporting to be real people, real brands, real entities when they're not. You know, so before Musk bought Twitter, it had rules about impersonation and parody accounts. How's the website responding now? So now it's kind of like a blanket ban if you are impersonating someone and, you know, the t Twitter's very um, diminished moderation team catches you. Previously, it could be a strike on your account. Um, if you made it clear that you were a parody, typically it was fine and you could keep your account up. But the difference between then and now is that you couldn't have a verified check mark. You couldn't just purchase a verified check mark. Of course, we did see accounts that uh, were previously verified and then changed their display name and their images and pretended to be someone. They usually got a temporary ban and then were reinstated. If they repeated the action, then they were permanently banned. But prior to Twitter Blue rolling out with uh, the verification badges, you couldn't just buy a verification badge and look realistic. So this is going to be really difficult in, in the age of misinformation and disinformation. It's going to be really challenging to suss out who is a real entity and who isn't. Callan, let's like just zoom out and talk to us about sort of everything going on at Twitter. I mean, there's been so much news since Musk has taken over from the day he walked in carrying a sink to the layoffs to obviously this whole blue check plan. I mean, just walk us through what all this means for Twitter's future. Uh, Savannah, I mean, I think it really, this speaks to like brand safety at Twitter. If Twitter is mm. making a, a, most of its revenue off of advertisers or a significant portion off of advertisers, having these, you know, Twitter blue verified accounts, like let's look at the Nintendo of America account. I could see Nintendo having a real difficult time justifying advertising on Twitter when it can't have, uh, you know, it, it's more difficult to determine what is the real Nintendo when there are these fake accounts popping up. It's just right. going to be really difficult in the future for brands to trust this entity, and it's going to be hard for it to make money. All right, Callan Rosenblatt, thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.